Hi, teacher. Hello, Carla. Good evening. Good evening. How are you today? Fine, teacher. It's Wednesday. <laughs> <laughs> today is Tuesday. Okay. Yeah. No, Wednesday. Oh, today is Wednesday, yes. Yes, teacher. Yes. Ah, okay. <laughs> no, is Wednesday. <laughs> today is Wednesday, yes, you are right. Yeah. Welcome to the class. Hello, Glisset. Good evening. <laughs> Welcome to the class. How are you today? Hello. Hello. How was your day? How was your day today? How was your media hoy? Yes. Um, today it was um, a little calm, so un poco calmado. Ah, okay. It was quiet. Okay, it was a little quiet. Mejor que ayer. Ah, okay. <laughs> Yesterday you were so tired. Mm. Estaba muy cansada ayer. Yes. <clears throat> yes. Okay, we're going to wait for your classmate. It seems that they are tired. Solo, solo nosotros estamos. Ah, probably they have a dinner. Some of them are just arriving home. Algunos llegan un poco tarde a casa, he notado, porque a veces van conduciendo. Hoy madrugaron ustedes. Por ahí está Renberto conectándose. Cuéntenme cómo les va con la plataforma. ¿Por qué parte van ya? Which section are you working on? Yo no la he trabajado en estos días, teacher. Ah, ok. Pero voy en la, en la sección 4. Ah, ok. Excelente. Congratulations. Así que pretendo el fin de semana aprovechar para... Entre semana, se, o sea, estando en, en el trabajo, me cuesta. La semana pasada la logré porque quedé me quedé trabajando desde casa. Ah, ok. Bueno, ¿o la otra semana le toca desde casa otra vez? ¿O ya no? No, no. no. No, no me quedé desde home. casa porque estaba incapacitada. Ah, you were sick. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's, mm -hmm. that's why. Sí. Y what about the midterm? ¿Ya hicieron el examen, el midterm? Mm -hmm. Yes, teacher. Yes. 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 Yeah. Hello, Carlos. Hello, Renberto. Good evening. Good evening. Nice to see you. And what about you, Renberto and Carlos? How are you doing on the platform? ¿Cómo van esos ejercicios? Good teacher. Eh, I go. In section three. Ah, you're working on section three already. Okay, excellent. Don't forget that you have until tomorrow to take the midterm. Tienen que hacer el, el examen, ¿verdad? The midterm esta semana a más tardar. Y hello, Roxana, Abigail. Good evening. Hello, teacher. Okay. Eh, ¿Qué tal? ¿Cómo va en la plataforma? Roxana. Uh, good because good. I, I finished the midterm. Ah, ya completó el midterm. Ok, excelente. Yes. And Let's the see. final exam. And the final exam too. Ok, congratulations yes. then. Congratulations, excellent. And Carlos, Carlos William. And I go to the middle of the section today. Ah, you are, okay, I'm in the middle of section three. Okay, you have completed just the half of section three. Don't forget, please, to take the midterm exam this week, please. You have to do it. Okay. Uh, hello, Veronica, good evening. Hello, teacher, good evening. How are you today? 
I'm tired. <laughs> oh, you are tired. Okay. Yeah, I was... stay home right now. Okay. No siguió el consejo de ayer. You work too hard today. Uh, Floridalia, how are you today? Hi. Uh, we, uh, pues, very tired. <laughs> very tired too. Too much work today. Much okay. work. <laughs> okay. Well, enjoy your work, right? Levante la mano quien disfruta su trabajo. Do you enjoy your work? O sea, sí lo disfruto, pero... Yes. <laughs> sí lo disfruto, pero me cansa mucho. Pues sí, okay. un poco. Carla, do you have any question? I can see your hand up. No, usted dijo que levantáramos la mano. Ah, ah ok. Que disfrutaba Levant... de su trabajo. Ah, ok. <laughs> ah, I, I can see that you enjoy your work. That is excellent. So, do you have any question about the exercises on platform section one, section two, section three, midterm? Algún problema que hayan tenido en alguna sección, algún ejercicio, o incluso en el examen? Nadie ha tenido ningún problema. Ninguna duda, ningún ejercicio difícil que me diga teacher. Miren, antes lo resolví, cómo se hacía. No, no question, no doubt. Oh, you are great students. Okay. Okay, excellent then. Bueno, si no hay ningún problema en la plataforma, ninguna consulta de esos ejercicios, let's start with today's class. ¿Qué lugares de la ciudad les gusta visitar? Which places of the city do you like to visit? Works. Which one? Tell me, which places do you like to visit in the city? Ah, que bien portado, solo van de la casa al trabajo, del trabajo a la casa. Great. Se like los naranjos. Oh, ok. And what Ataco. is that? Ataco. Cerro Verde. Cerro Verde. Ok. Lago de Coatepeque. Lago Coatepeque de Coatepeque Lake. Uh, yes. Puerto de Libertad. Los Cóbanos. Los Cóbanos. Ok. Playa El Tunco. <laughs> Playa El Tunco. But those places are out of the city. Esos lugares están fuera de la ciudad. Now, mm -hmm. in the city, en la ciudad, dentro de la ciudad, which places do you like to visit? The park. Oh, park. The park. I like to go to the cinema. Cinema. Okay, the cinema or oh, movie theater. The mall. The mall. Okay, the mall. The mall. Supermarket. The supermarket. Which other place do you like to visit? Well, today we're going to learn uh, many vocabulary about city places and we're going to study to the preposition of place. Do you know some of them? ¿Ya conocen algunas preposiciones del lugar? Between. Oh, between is next one. To. Next to is another one. Yes. On the corner of. On the corner of. In front of. of. In front of. On. On. Across from. Across from. Okay, we're going to study that. So let's start with today's topic. And today's topic is this preposition of place. Yes, let me show you. Let me know, please, if you can see my screen. Yes, Okay, preposition of place. That is the topic for today. So welcome to the, our seven virtualization. This is your class seven. So we are gonna have this topic, preposition of place. Okay, look at those places. ¿Cuáles son estos lugares? The first one. 
restaurant. It's a restaurant in the That's second one. Gas station. Gas station. Like gas station. So what can you do in a restaurant? What can you do? You can eat. Yeah. You can mm -hmm. eat. You can drink. So I have this idea. You can buy food, delicious food, or expensive food. No tan buena a veces, pero siempre cara. Right? So you can buy food there. Yeah. You can buy drinks, you can buy drinks, beer, soda, wine, champagne, eh, juice. So you can buy desserts. Puede comprar postres, ¿verdad? Postres. And what about gas station? What can you do in a gas station? You can, can you put gas. Okay, you can buy gasoline or gas. Gasoline. What more? Just that? No, maybe you can you can buy um food fast. Yeah. Yes, you can buy fast food. You can also fast, can fast buy food. drinks. You can buy drinks too. You can buy some snacks yeah. and fast food. You can buy fast food in that place. ¿Les gustan los nachos de la gasolinera? Yes. Yes. Yes, yes they are delicious, right? So what place is this? Look at this. This is a post office. The first one is a post office. So there you can send letters. Also, you can send packages, and also you can buy some stamps. Todavía ustedes alcanzaron a escribir cartas y mandarlas a la post office. In my case, yes. Yes, you yes. did. Yes. Okay. Los demás no tuvieron esa oportunidad. Just messenger, email, WhatsApp. Too young. They are too young. <laughs> Yes. Yes, okay. I did, but it was a homework. Yo lo hice, pero fue una tarea. It was nah. a homework. Because, you are so, young. Um, I don't think so. But. <laughs> let's continue. Let's continue. So, supermarket. What can we do in a supermarket? What can we do in a supermarket? Okay, you can buy food. Víveres, ¿cómo sería? ¿Cómo se pronuncia? Víveres. We can say, um, probably supplies, right? House supplies or house food, food tour. But exactly where I'm going to investigate. Ya me metió un gol, mire. Víveres. Vamos uno a cero today. Víveres. Okay, let's go with this. Uh, you can pay bills too in the supermarket. You can pay bills, you can buy toys, and also you can buy some electronics, right? like irons, blender, vacuum, televisions, even you can buy cell phones, computer, headphones, and um, electronics, right? calculators. In the supermarket. So look at this, what is this place? What is this place? Bank. Okay, this is a bank. Well, they are banks, right? They are some banks, but the place is bank. Yeah, let's see. In a bank, we can open an account. You can open an account. Abrir una cuenta. You can also apply for a credit card. Aplicar por una tarjeta de crédito. You can also make a withdrawal. Hacer un retiro de dinero. Uh, retirar dinero. Retirar dinero. Trouble. You can also receive remittances. Remesas. You can also receive remesas. Remittances. Pay bills. At a bank, you can pay bills. Also, at a bank, you can make a deposit. Deposit. You can make a deposit. 
puede ir a guardar dinero en su cuenta, ¿verdad? Depositar. Also, you can cash a check. What is the meaning of this phrase, cash a check? Any idea? What is cash? Efectivo, comprar un cheque. Ah, ok, cambiar un cheque, ¿verdad? Usted llega con su cheque, deja el cheque, le dan efectivo, cash. Let's see the next one. Deposit a check. Instead of receiving the money, you can't, uh, you can save your money in your account. En lugar de recibir el dinero, usted lo puede depositar en su cuenta. So, deposit a check. In, so, we can do this place. You can cash a check. You can apply for a credit card. You can pay bills. You can receive remittances. You can open an account. You can make a deposit, make a withdrawal, and deposit a check. You can do that at a bank. What about a drugstore? What can you do at a drugstore? What can you do in a drugstore? You can buy medicine. You can buy medicine. Just medicine. Food. Pay, pay bills too. Oh, you can pay bills too. You can pay bills in the drugstore. So you can buy muscle creams. You can buy a muscle creams, buy medicine, you can buy medicine, buy vitamins, you can buy vitamins. You can buy candies. Oh, you can buy candies too. You can buy balance for your cell phone. You can buy balance for your cell phone. You can pay bills, as Veronica said before. Pagar tarjetas, no sé, ¿cómo se dice? Uh, you can pay credit cards. Yes. You can buy cow syrup too. And buy, buy pills. You can buy pills. Comprar pastillas. Buy egg drops. Gotas para los ojos. And so on. So what is this place? What is this play? Look at the picture and tell me what is this play? Do you have an idea what is this place? department department store yes that is a department store so what can you do there buy clothes you can buy cloth yes any other thing you can, can buy shoes? Shoes? can you please repeat uh, maybe shoes you can buy shoes too Jewelry. You can buy jewelry there. Yes. You can buy pools. Can you please repeat? Put. You can buy pools. Pools, cartera. Oh, pools, pools. Yes, you can buy some pools there. So let's see some ideas. You can buy gifts. You can buy gifts. Yes, you can buy gifts. So look at my ideas here. Buy perfumes. You can buy perfumes. You can buy appliances and electronics. You can buy clothes. What does that mean, appliances? Appliances son artículos del hogar, ¿verdad? como aspiradoras. Y, let's see, cacerolas, ollas, appliances. And electronics, Buy makeup too. You can buy makeup there. Buy shoes. Buy cosmetics. Cosmetics. So buy cosmetics, buy makeup, buy perfumes, buy shoes, buy clothes, buy appliances and electronics in a department in store. Those are, those are some places that we can find in the city. Department store. Drugstore, restaurant, post office, and of course, there are many others, like, for example, this one library, church, hospital, park, bus station, museum, police station, firefighter station, cinema, city hall, gym, school, high school, 
University Mall and Airport. So it's one of these places near to your house. ¿Hay alguno de estos lugares cerca de su casa? Yes. 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 Which of them? Library. A library. Library. Sure. sure. Uh, there is a park near my Hospital. house. Gym, a school. Gym, a gym, a school. A school, gym, mall, hospital. Bus station. A park, the bus station. Church. Park. What is the meaning of library? What is the meaning of library? Librería. Eres no librería, eres biblioteca. 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 That is the meaning, biblioteca. Church. What is a church? Iglesia. 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 Uh, yes. The other one is easy. Right? Hospital, park, bus station, museum. What is a museum? Museo. Museo. Okay, excellent. That is museum, police station, firefighter station. Here the word is cinema, cinema or movie theater. City hall. And what about city hall? What is the city hall? Centro comercial. City. Nope. No, 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 es, es como, el, como el parque, como el centro de la ciudad. No. No, that is downtown. Downtown. Downtown ah. is the center of the city. What is a city hall? Ah, es alcaldía. Ah, oh, yes, yes, ah, city no. hall es la alcaldía. Alcaldía o, alcaldía o ayuntamiento, en city hall. Gym, do you go to the gym? Gimnasio. Do you no, go to the gym? No, you don't. No, don't. Yes. No. No. Me da pereza solo oír la palabra, gym. I yes. do exercise in my house. Ah, ok, excellent. High school, school, high school, university, mall. What is the meaning of mall? Centro. Centro. Centro Comercial and the airport. Do you live near aeropuerto. the airport? Aeropuerto. Aeropuerto. ¿Quién vive cerca del aeropuerto? Do you live near an airport? No. 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 Aquí. So, we are going to live in carretera al aeropuerto. Ah, ok. But you can see it the the airplanes can you mm, see the okay. airplanes can you see the airplanes when they are landing puede ver los aviones cuando están aterrizando no no tanto no ah you live far okay excellent so we are going to listen this conversation today it's across from the park that is the name of the conversation it's excuse me can you help me? Is there a public restaurant around here? A public restaurant? Mm, I'm sorry, I don't think so. Oh no, my son needs a restroom. Well, there's a restroom in the department store on Main Street. Where on Main Street? It's on the corner of Main Street and First Avenue. On the corner of May and First. Yes, it's across from the park. You can't miss it. Thanks a lot. ¿Cuáles preposiciones de lugar están acá? Do you recognize some of them? ¿Reconoce algunas de ellas? In okay. this conversation. Can you please repeat? Across. Across from? Yes, that is when. Across the from. Across from. On. On, on the, the corner, corner of. That is another one on um, the corner of any other. Well, let's listen to this conversation. Mm -hmm. 
Vamos a escuchar esta conversación for you to listen in the correct pronunciation of every word. Just a second. This is too slow today, just a second. What is the video? It is. A Okay, ¿quién ya vio este video? Just a second, it is not working today. I'm going to rephrase the page, maybe in that way, it is gonna work. Okay, it's in the Sam's drugstore. After you finish, listen and practice. Let me know places you can listen the video. Can you watch and listen the video? Let me know, please. Yeah. Only watch me, teacher. Yes, yes, you can. Okay. Yes. Excuse me, can you help me? Is there a public restroom around here? A public restroom? Hmm. I'm sorry, I don't think so. Oh no, my son needs a restroom. Well, there's a restroom in the department store on Main Street. Where on Main Street? It's on the corner of Main and First Avenue. On the corner of Main and First? Yes, it's across from the park. You can't miss it. Thanks a lot. Now, Okay, listen again to the conversation, please. Excuse me, can you help me? Is there a public restroom around here? A public restroom? Hmm, I'm sorry, I don't think so. Oh no, my son needs a restroom. Well, there's a restroom in the department store on Main Street. Where on Main Street? It's on the corner of Main and First Avenue. On the corner of Main and First? Yes, it's across from the park. You can't miss it. Thanks a lot. Okay. So, who needs the restroom? Who needs the restroom in the conversation? Ah, uh, the it's son gone. of the son it's of the gone. man. And where is that restroom? By um... no public. Mm -hmm. Yes, that is where is one? Where is one restaurant? Where where is where is a restroom? In, in the where, department store of Main Street. Oh, in the department store of Main Street. And where on Main Street? Where on Main Street? It's on the corner of Main and First Avenue. It's on the corner of, of Main Street and First Avenue. So it says you can miss it. No, lo, no te puedes perder. Thanks a lot. Thanks a lot. Muchas gracias. So excuse me, can you help me? Is there a public restaurant around here? A public restaurant? Mm, I'm sorry, I don't think so. Oh no, my son needs a restroom. Well, there's a restroom in the department store on Main Street. Where on Main Street? It's on the corner of Main and First Avenue. On the corner of Main and First 
Yes, it's across from the park. You can miss it. Thanks a lot. Just to volunteer to practice this conversation today. Two volunteers who wants to practice. Melida Sarai and Evelyn Abigail. Evelyn, you are going to be the man and Melida, you are going to be the woman. You can start, please. Okay, excuse me, can you help me? Is there a public restroom around here? A public restroom? Mm, I'm sorry, I don't think so. Oh no, my son needs a restroom. Well, there's a restroom in the in the department store on Main Street. Where on Main Street? It's on the corner of Main and First Avenue. On the corner of Main and First? Yes, it's across from the park. You can miss it. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you very much. That was a great job. Thank you. How do you pronounce this word? How do you pronounce this word, guys? First. First. It's first. 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 Yes. How do you pronounce this? Public. Public. Uh, public. Public restaurant. Public. Public. And let's see how they pronounce this phrase. I don't think. I don't so. think so. I don't think no. I don't think so. I don't, I don't, don't think, think so. so. Oh. Okay, excellent. I don't think so. I don't think so. Think. And remember the T it sounds. Think, think. Su en este sonido, TH, your tone is between your teeth. So you say, think. I don't think so. Let's see the next one. How do you pronounce this? Right. Street. 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 Okay, let's start with the sound S, right? Street, street, street. Now let's see this word, how do you pronounce this word? Where? 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 Where. Okay, no question, no new vocabulary in this conversation. Any word that you don't know and you want to know the meaning, No new words, no new vocabulary in this part. No teacher. No teacher. No, then I'm going to ask you, what is the meaning of Main Street? Calle Principal. Yes, Calle Principal. What is the meaning of the expression around here? Alrededor de aquí, a la vuelta de Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, sure. Cerca de aquí, we can say around here. Cerca de aquí. And what about the expression, can you help me? Puede ayudarme? Yes. Okay. No more question. So let's see. These are the prepositions play that we can find uh, on the conversation. We have the first one, which is on. On means encima de o sobre deben. En el caso de lugares, on lo vamos a utilizar cuando el lugar está inmediatamente después de la acera de la calle. On. On. The department store is on Main Street. Significa que está sobre esa calle. Justo después de la acera comienza the department store. On the corner of, on the corner of, en la esquina de dos calles. En este caso, you can see here, it's Main Street and First 
Avenue. And here is the place. It's on the corner of May and First. Está verde en la esquina que hace la calle Main Street and First Avenue. Across from. Across from means al otro lado de la calle, enfrente, pero al otro lado de la calle. That is across from. It's across from the park. Este lugar está justo enfrente. Pasando la calle está el lugar. It's across from the park. Next to, next, it's next to the bank. Next to a la par. Está a la par. The bank is between the department store. Between means en medio de. So the bank is between two other places. In this case, the bank is between the department store and the restaurant. Está en medio de la de, de, de department store en a restaurant. It's between, en medio de. Do you have any question in this part? Is it easy for you? Yes, teacher. I have a question. What is your question? Tell me. Mm, near is similar around. Near here? Yes, it's similar. Cerca, near. We can use near to, to say around here or near here. Okay. Around here es como en los alrededores. En near here, cerca de acá. But we can use both. We can use them. Okay, look at this map. Look at this map. Which places can you see in this map? ¿Qué lugares puede distinguir en este mapa? Can you tell me, please? Which place is in? And there is a post office, a gas station. Baby bank. There is a post bank. Office. There is a hospital. Post office, yes. Supermarket. Uh, supermarket. Oh, sorry. A supermarket, yes, there is a supermarket. Which other place yeah, can you see? Coffee shop. Coffee shop. The a coffee shop. Movie theater. A movie theater or cinema? Yes. Maria Hospital. A restaurant. Here is the restaurant. Here is the restaurant. office. And here is the post office. What about this place? Doctor Hospital. Bookstore es como librería. Okay, a bookstore. Aquí sí, ¿verdad? A bookstore es una tienda de libros. Bookstore. Gas, gas, gas station. Gas, gas, gas station. Gas. And what is this? Parking. Parking. Oh, that is a parking lot. And what is this place? I don't, I don't, I don't know how the the mean for fuente. Fuente, huh? Oh, fuente is a fountain. Fountain. Como? Fountain. 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 Ah, fountain. Como de encontrar, Fountain. F-O-U-N-D-T-I-N. Yes, fountain. Uh -huh. But this is a park. It's a park. No parece, pero es un parque. <laughs> it's a park, yes. So can you please tell me, um, using the preposition of place, we are, going to locate, we are going to locate some places. Let's see, for example, where is the post office? Can you tell me what is the post office using preposition of place? The post office is on the corner of 2nd Avenue and Center Street. Yes, thank you. The post office is on the corner of Center Street and 2nd Avenue. Thank you. 
alguna otra referencia para encontrar ese lugar? The post office is next, next to, to the uh, hospital. Thank you. The post office is next to the doctor's hospital. Any other? Any other direction, direction to find the post office? Between, as it is, between, en medio de? Oh, en medio de? Mm -hmm. No. No, in across this case. To, um, hospital. Um, across to the Avenue Bookstore? Yes, it's across from. The post office is across from the Second Avenue Bookstore. Okay, thank you. Now, where is the Maria's restaurant? Where is Maria's restaurant? Maria's restaurant is next to City Bank. Thank you. Maria's restaurant is next to City Bank. Maria's restaurant is in front of movie theater. Yes, Maria's restaurant is in front of the movie theater. We can also say across from, across from the movie theater. Any other direction to find Maria's restaurant? Maria's restaurant is off the corner on Second Avenue. Yes, Maria Restaurant is on the corner of Main Street and Second Avenue. Thank you. Now let's see. What is the shoes? Favorite shoes store? What is it? Favorite shoes store. Can you find a place and tell me one direction to find favorite shoes store? Across from supermarket? Yes, favorite shoes is a crown of the supermarket. Thank you. Favorite shoes is on the corner of Main Street and Second Avenue. Yes, it is right too. Favorite Any? shoes is on Second Avenue. Yes, yes. Favorite shoes is on Second Avenue. Yes, that is a good sentence, a good direction. There is one missing. What is it? Which other preposition of play we can use in this, in this part? Favorite shoes is next to coffee shop. Yes, you're right. Favorite shoes is next to or Al. behind. It's next to, next okay. to Al's coffee shop. And what is the gas station? Where is the gas station? The gas station across from the parking lot. The gas station is across from the parking lot. Yes. The gas station is on Center Street. The gas station is on Center Street. Center Strip, yes, you are right. Thank you. The gas station next to Doctor Hospital. You say next to? Across from. Across from, across from. Across from, okay. across from. and what is the drugstore? What is the drugstore? And drugstore is next to the supermarket. It's next to the supermarket. Thank you. Any other direction? It's across from restaurant. Mm, it's across from? No, I don't oh. think so. Here is the restaurant, look. It is yeah. not across from. <laughs> so we can say it's on Second Avenue. On Second Avenue. It's on Second Avenue. Okay, excellent job. So this is the question. Where is the post office? Where is the department store? Where is the gas station? So let's go with this conversation practice. 
Say the location of some of the places in your neighborhood. De los lugares que vimos hoy en el vocabulario, ¿cuáles de esos lugares están cerca de su vecindario o del lugar donde ustedes viven? Use the preposition of play next to, across from, between, on, and behind to tell to your classmate the location of the places. Let's see, for example, your the church, the church of your neighborhood. Where is it? ¿Dónde está la iglesia en su vecindario? ¿Cómo la localizan o cómo le dice a alguien? Mm, está a la par del supermercado. It's next to the supermarket. It's in front of the park. Far away from my... <laughs> Can you please repeat? We couldn't listen. It's far away from my, from my house. Oh, it's far away from my house. Okay, bueno, the church manera. is next to Colegio Dominico. Okay, excellent. The church is next to the, it's a school or high school? Uh, school. Okay. Yes, school. School, okay. So the church is next to the school. Y de esa manera van a compartir con sus compañeras. Piensen por lo menos en cinco lugares. Five places at your neighborhood. Cinco lugares. Si no hay ningún lugar, then you can, you can say the vocabulary we learned today. Right? Imagínense que vive ahí por San Benito y que está el mall. Está el mall, ¿verdad? está la iglesia ahí cerca. O en un pueblo, en un pueblo ¿verdad? Que todo está en el centro. Eh, generalmente en los pueblos, it's a park. Está un parque y alrededor del parque está todo. ¿verdad? The city hall, the church. En el supermarket. ¿Han visitado Cojutepeque alguna vez? No. No, no. No, teacher. Suchitoto. Ay, ahí está. Ok, bueno, yeah. todo, todo está ahí cerca, ¿verdad? The church, the restaurant, the park, the supermarket. Supermarket. Oh, yes. City Hall. Okay, then share with your classmate, share with your classmate, please, which places uh, we can find in your neighborhood. Y donde localizarlos. Use the preposition. So we are going to have six minutes to do that activity. See you in six minutes. Uh, today we are 12, so we are going to be in... Por grupos. Bueno, los veo en seis minutos. Participen con sus compañeros, please. Do you have any question acerca de la actividad antes de ir a las salas con sus compañeros? No questions? Ok, here we go then. Roxana, ¿le llegó la invitación para entrar a las salas? No, teacher. No, ok. Yes, que no, no porque siempre que lo pone para ir a salas, siempre tengo problemas de internet y casi nunca me puedo unir. Ah, ok. Bueno, voy a mover a Roxana a la sala 4. Y you are going to be... Um, ¿Qué tal? ¿Le llegó la invitación?
No more. So I live in no no I live on the main street and there is a park around my house and I can say that the the park the church is um, the church is is across from the park excellent mateo so whose turn is it quien sigue de quien es el turno oh, where is in your neighborhood which places can we find in your neighborhood turn up your microphone turn up your microphone please Sorry. <laughs> the short thank you. Is, thank you. Uh, the short uh, is across from the supermarket and the veamos the high school the next the next uh the next uh como se dice um, the, the high school is next to ¿Cómo se dice capillas, memoriales o algo así, o funeraria o cosas de esa de velación? Andrés, una funeraria. Ajá, ¿cómo se dice? Funeraria. Capilla funeraria. That is a good question. Ok, dos a uno, teacher. Dos a uno me llaman hoy. <laughs> okay, bueno, eh, okay, digamos de high school, eh, the next, uh, next uh, park, digamos, porque no, no sabemos cómo se dice capillas. <laughs> uh, it is funeral chapel. Funeral chapel, okay. Yes, funeral chapel. That is the name of uh, capilla funeraria. Funeral okay. chapel. Okay. Um, the, so the, the high school is next to the funeral chapel. Uh, the high school next to the funeral chapel. 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 Okay, yes. chapel. Yes, thank you. Um, the gas station eh, across from the, the, the mall. Okay, the gas station is across, of, across from the mall. Excellent. Mm -hmm. uh, Evelyn, what is in your neighborhood? My neighborhood is on on the corner mm. On the corner next to the park, across. Uh, bueno, at this time, just tell me which places we can find in your neighborhood. ¿Qué lugares podemos encontrar? De los que vimos, um, there is a drugstore, um, church, hospital, pharmacy, oh, clinic. Yeah. Okay, uh, in front um hospital. Uh, what is in front of the hospital? ¿Qué hay en frente del hospital? Um, the park. Ah, and... Entonces decimos the park is in front of the hospital. The park is in the, front of the hospital. The park is in front of the hospital. Thank you. Yes. Yes. The, está bien esa oración. <laughs> the park is in front of the hospital. El parque está enfrente del hospital. Thanks. Any other? Any other place? Um. 
Is there a church in your neighborhood? ¿Hay alguna iglesia? Yes, the church is in front of the park. The church is in front of the park. And the... The mall is in front of the gas station. The mall is in front of the gas station. Excellent. Excellent sentences. Bueno, continúen practicando, ¿verdad? Just practice. No tiene que ser verdad, ¿verdad? En no sean lugares que estén, pero podemos inventar para practicar. You can say, for example, the bank is between the church and the supermarket. El banco está en medio del supermercado y la iglesia. That is between. Uh, you can say the hospital is on Main Street. El hospital está en sobre, ¿verdad? Sobre la calle principal. So try to make sentences using the preposition of time. Thank you. You are doing a great okay. job. Any question? No questions? Mm, no question. No question. Mateo, are you okay? No question? No question. Okay, continue practicing, please. Vaya, hoy hagámoslo con la escuela. Okay. Okay. The street is on main. The, the school is on main street. The school may is on the street. Do you have any... in the main street. Do you have any question? The... <laughs> yes. Um, ¿Cómo se pronuncia como un kinder? Kindergarten. Kindergarten. Eso. Kinder. Garden. Thank you. My pleasure. Any other question? ¿Cómo se dice pasaje? Um, you can say block. Okay. Thank you. Any other question? Teacher, y esa pregunta, between, between, ¿cómo se pronuncia? ¿Qué quiere decir? Bit, between. Between, es, between. es la preposición between, se pronuncia between, uh -huh. y es la preposición que significa en medio de. Cuando uh -huh. una cosa está en medio de otras dos cosas. Ah, uh -huh. um, ok. ¿Se acuerda en el mapa que estaba el banco, de department yes. store y estaba de María's Restaurant? Yes. 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 Entonces estaba, el banco estaba en medio, ¿verdad? De estos dos lugares. Yes. Uh, Entonces ahí utilizamos between. The bank is between o sea sí, María's el... Restaurant and the department store. Ah, o sea que si yo quiero decir que el supermarket está en medio, tengo que decir de supermarket. Between, es between dos between. lugares Ajá. y tiene que mencionar los dos lugares de los que estén en medio. Digamos, in the police station y short. Está entre la estación de policía y la iglesia. Sí. Yes. Entonces sería, eh, ¿qué lugar me dijo que estaba en medio? Entre la iglesia y la estación de policía. El supermarket. Entonces sí. la oración sería, the supermarket is between the police station and... In the church. In the church. In the church. 
Así mm. sería la oración. Any other question? Ok, thank you, teacher. ¿Alguna otra pregunta? No. No. Ok, los veo en la reunión general. Continúen okay, practicando. Ok. Welcome. How was your practice? How was your practice? Fine, teacher. Fine. Did you finish? Terminaron? Yes. Yes. Okay, let's see. What is the church, for example, in your neighborhood? Where is your Where is the church? Donde está la iglesia? Next to, in front, between, y across from, on, en qué calle? In front of the park. Okay, the church is in front of the park in your neighborhood. Uh, what about? is in front the supermarket. The church is in front of the supermarket. Thank you. Uh, where is the drugstore? Where is the drugstore in your neighborhood? Donde esta la farmacia en su vecindario in your city? No hay. Next to the church. Ah, oh, it is next to the church. Okay. Have... Next to the hospital. Ah, uh, it's next to the hospital. Do you have any question about today's class? Yes, teacher, I have a question. What uh, is your how question? How does it mean? ¿Cómo puedo decir mi, mi casa está sobre, o sea, que mi residencia está en la carretera principal, o sea, la carretera, nosotros acá le llamamos carretera panamericana en la carretera panamericana, pero eso no se puede decir allá, o sea, allá solo es Main Street, pero no, no sé, ¿cómo, cómo podríamos decir? Uh, my house is on Panamerican Street, right? ese es un nombre propio y no lo podemos traducir. Oh. Entonces mm -hmm. tenemos que escribirlo así, my house is on, está sobre, ¿verdad? Okay. Any other question? Y si uno quiere decir 11 calle oriente. Mm, can you please repeat? <laughs> uh -huh. Uh -huh. Can, uh, can you please repeat? 11 calle oriente. 11 calle oriente, qué barbaridad. Ah, yo, sé, um... yo, vivo, no, yo vivo en la 11 calle oriente. ¿Cómo digo eso? That is yeah. Um, yeah. on 11 <laughs> on 11th West Strip. Ah, ok. Vaya, Lisette, ya ve. Okay. <laughs> Imagínense que yo vivo en el polígono B, casa número no sé qué de la ah, que no. Que <laughs> <de> <laughs> Ah, no, ya me estaba molestando a mí. <laughs> no le escuchaba la dirección de Mateo. <laughs> Let, let's Pero, listen. ¿Cómo es la dirección de Mateo? ¿Cuál es tu address, Mateo? Tell us. Um, it's easy. <laughs> And I, I, I don't... No. No les dije la dirección, pero le dije, les dije la, la referencia. The reference most important uh, is, is an, a school. And my house 
is on the main street and the school is the, the reference. Mm. It, the school is on the corner on, of the, the main street. <laughs> <laughs> Intentando llegar, sí, tal vez llegamos mañana. Tal vez llegamos. Tal vez llegamos. Mateo, yo creo que está dando esa dirección para que no lleguemos a su casa. Okay, this is difficult, right? Um, to give the direction is a little bit difficult, but tomorrow we are going to continue studying this, right? Yeah. Okay, bueno, terminamos dos a cero, right? Today. So I'm, I'm going to tell you the words tomorrow. How to say polígono and how to say funeraria. You know how to say funeraria in English? When, uh, well, it's a funeral chapel. That is the one we find. Funeral chapel. Capilla funeraria. Y cementerio. Cementerio, I guess. Okay. Mm. Bueno, bueno, resultó al revés. Quien lleva tarea soy yo, pero ustedes también, right? Ah, <laughs> <Sí, yeah. laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. okay. Mañana okay. nosotros le vamos a preguntar, teacher. Ok, excelente. No problem. So, as, para as your question. <laughs> lo, primero, lo primero, teacher, averigüe la dirección de Mateo. Ah, ok, sí, sí. <laughs> Ya lo vamos a buscar en Google Maps. Okay. A ver dónde nos aparece. Okay. Para que no diéramos con la dirección, por eso no la digo. Exacto. <risa> bueno, any other question? No more questions. No more questions. Okay, okay. It has been nice to be with you tonight. Uh, thank you guys for your participation and your attention. Uh, please don't forget to keep working on the platform exercises and take the meter test, please. The meter exam. Remember that the due date is the end of this week. So tomorrow is the end of this week. So please do it. Do it. Um, estuve revisando el porcentaje que llevan algunos y todavía está muy bajo. Right? So keep working on that, please. Eh, resolvamos esos ejercicios section 1, section 2, section 3 y si pueden la semana vamos. no cuenta hasta el domingo entonces la semana cuenta hasta mañana mm, es una manera de decirlo ¿verdad? es una manera de decirlo <risa> es una no manera de celebración don't work too hard ok don't work too hard de ese consejo si se acuerdan bueno, mañana nos recuperamos. Mañana tenemos okay. otra oportunidad. See you tomorrow. Yeah. Adiós, bye, 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 good night. Good night, everyone. Good night, everyone. Bye, bye. Good night, everyone. See you tomorrow. Bye, bye. bye, bye. Bye, bye. Bye, bye, Mateo. Take care. See you tomorrow.